Welcome to another exciting edition of TFO. We're in playoff season, and it's starting to get hot and heavy in the MAD Conference as we have the Portly Pounders taking on the Lamination. And joining me in the booth this week to root on those Laminations is my niece, Keegan. Bazinga. All right, let's kick it. All right, and the Portly Pounders versus the Lamination. It's going to be an epic contest to see which team here is going to qualify for the MAD Championship Contest next week. The Portly Pounders, a hell of an offensive team, a hell of a defensive team. Lamination, same. It's going to be a slobber knocker, folks. And if you don't know what that word means, I suggest you get a dictionary because it's about to get hot in here. Lucas Magrum with the ball. Yeah, about the 40-yard line. Not a bad return. Uh, Lucas Magrim's had a hell of a season. If he would have been healthy all season, he could have easily been uh, one of the top offensive MVPs of the league. Ooh, but Chris McLeese not even able to get through his own line and loses four there. Slamination defense is no slouch with Joey Meatball, the mad defensive MVP up there. He has 14 sacks on the regular season, and he was a hell of a force last week against those Tim's Nightmares. There's Lucas Magrum crawling across for the first down. Sorry, must be a frog in my throat. Just the anticipation of this matchup, the contest of the century. But Smash Mouth, he's ready too. He's ready for that sack right there. And now we're at second and 19. Pitch back to Chris McLeese, who's trotting almost back to the line of scrimmage. So it's going to be third and 12 here. Not in field goal range, so they got to go for this first down here. Jim Shock back, looks at his options, he passes, oh, but Benny Hill is unable to bring the ball in and we have to punt the ball. There's the kick and it looks like it's going to be downed in the end zone for a touchback. The Nation with their first drive here. Old King Raisai with the pitch to belt buckle face who's been the leader of this team. He has been the ultimate driving force. Second down. Old King Raisai back. Oh, it looks like he's going to run. Nope. Oh, Frank Caliendo with the stop. It looked like that he was going to run it. But then Old King Raisai changed his mind at the last minute, and it cost him. Belt buckle face with the ball. Getting past the line of scrimmage. Third and seven. The Lamination with another, oh, but the Pounders read it, rushed in, fourth and 13, and we have the second punt of the day. Two toes with a hell of a kick. This might actually be returnable. Woo, what a kick. Right to the seven, the Lamination, oh, and they hold him back. First and 10 on about the 11. Jim Shock got the ball he throws it up to Andrew Truman there he's got it 50 40 oh they dived 30 20 and oh yeah that lamination they just they came at him like a nation a nation of domination Jim back with the pass again he's looking at his options throws it to Truman again Ooh, but double coverage up there risky play and we got a second and ten Jim with the ball again. Ooh, he pitches it up to Magrum, who spins moves right in to a touchdown. I hate that down. Ralphie May with the kick, and it's good, and the Pounders are the first to pound onto the board. 7 to nothing. And the first quarter expires as Belt Buckle Face takes the ball out of the end zone. He's to the 20. He spins, and he's down. And we go to the second quarter here. Knockout drag out contest here. Belt Buckle Face advancing the yardage, getting another first for his team. Belt Buckle Face best running back in the mad conference this season just amazing what he did all season long oh ac slater with the catch 
What you gonna do, brother, when AC Slater comes at you? Oh, another run. Oh, Flea Flicker. He gets it off just in time to Letatius Duke, but is unable to bring the ball in. Old King Raisai looking at his options again. Oh, a rush in. Tried to get it to suck a DJ, but just didn't have enough time. And now it's third and ten. Oh, man, that pounder defense. They're just like a brick wall. They're one of the best rushing defenses in the league. It's going to be hard for this Llama Nation to get some yardage against them. And Chris McLeese calls a fair catch in the end zone, so they're going to take it out to the 20 to begin their next drive here. Oh, the Pounders went for the reversal, but man, that Llama Nation defense, it's right there. Neither of these teams are given an inch, and neither can take a mile. Oh, but Chris McLeese tries to run the mile, but he's two yards shy of the first down. Oh, Shock pitches it back, but it, I mean, come on, we all knew it was going to be a run there. Llama Nation was aware of it. They rushed in. Here's here's another punt. Defensive battle here today. Can a nation take out a team of fat guys, or will the llamas spit on themselves? It's an interesting complex, if you ask me. Oh, Gold King Riceye pitches it right to Belt Buckle Face right before the defense was able to get to him, getting him five yards instead of a loss. There's another pitch to Belt Buckle Face who, ooh, he wasn't able to dodge that defender. He only got one there. So we're down to another third down here. Oh, there's the flea flicker. Oh, Letatius Duke. He's open. He's going. He could. He has. Touchdown City! Latarius Duke. Latarius Duke. Latarius Duke. Duke. Touchdown Duke is his name, brother. Latarius Duke. And with the kick, it is now 7-2-7. Seven seven. Ooh, that was a real shitty kick by Blinky Mullendorf there. Oh, and Lucas Magrum's taking advantage here. Oh, he was stopped there at about the 45. 46 seconds left. They can get in a field goal range here before half and go into the half uh, leading. Lucas Magrum. Oh, he's got him in field goal range. 20. Oh, and he just passed the 20. 22 seconds. 20, 19. Not even calling a field goal, those pounders. They're getting Ralphie May out there. There's the pitch. There's the kick. It's kind of to the right, Kenny. It's good. And Ralphie May. He sneaks one in right before the half. Belt Buckle Face has the ball. He brings it to about the 50, but that's going to bring us into the halftime as the Portly Pounders are beating the Lama Nation 10-7. It's been a hell of a game with the Pounders with 87 passing yards, with the Lama Nation with 91. These teams both have amazing run games, but their run games have sputtered against the other defenses here today. What will the second half lead? One of these teams must go home. The other must go to the MAD Championship Contest next week. Belt buckle face. Ooh, he dodges. He weaves. He could go 40. 30. He has a break. 20. Oh, about to the 15-yard line. A hell of a return. 420 on the clock there. Smoke it if you got it. And that's what old King Rysai was thinking. But Marlon Brando smoked his ass up. Second and 20 now. They got to push him back far if they don't want him to get this touchdown. Ooh, belt buckle face stopped by a wall there. And we're at third and 19. What will this lamination be able to do? There's that flea flicker up to Letatius Duke. It's, oh, just over his head. And now Ralphie May is going to come out here and try to tie this contest up. There's the pitch, the kick. It's got good distance, and it's good, and we have a tied game. But the Lamination have to be disappointed in that drive. They were literally 15 yards away from a touchdown, and they were pushed back by Marlon Brando and that pounder defense. Oh, speaking of kick returns, look at Lucas Magrum weaving to about the... 48 
47. Depends on what bid he was at. Shock with the pitch to Lucas Magrum. Oh, look at all that field that's open. Oh, my gosh. 20. 10. And, uh, well, he didn't even make it to the 10, but it was close. First and 10 on the 11. Oh, there's the rush. And Smash Mouth with his second Smash Mouth sack of the day. Pushing that pounder offense back to a second and 20. Magrum with the ball. And... Not really getting anywhere there. So third and 17. Can the Lama Nation hold the Pounders to a field goal as well? Not if Lucas Magrum has anything to say about it. Oh, but he has nothing to say about it. And Ralphie May is waddling on the field for another field goal attempt. Bazinga. The pitch, the kick, and it's good. Second on the day, Ralphie May taking his team up by three in this 13 to 10 mad playoff contest. And don't get mad, Lamination. Get even here. This contest is brought to you by T because uh, it's pretty early in the morning for me. <laughs> and you know what's early in the morning? It's the old King Raisai. He launches the ball down to Brown Schumann. McGee was not able to get there in time. Second and 10. There's the pitch to belt buckle face. The face of the Lama Nation. He gets him another first down. I mean, belt buckle face really has taken this team upon the offensive portion of the Lama Nation onto his shoulders this season and carried them. Ooh, and there belt buckle face grabbing the ball, getting a first down and what should have been an easy sack for the Pounders. Slamination is moving down the field real well here. Old King Rice side with the ball. Ooh, and it is picked off. Old King Rice I'm thinking that's Belushi that was able to get the interception there. And the Pounders, with a three-point lead, have the ball. Magrum has the first. Oh, he doesn't have the first. The second and one going into the fourth here. Pounders up by three. Interception may have just cost the Lama Nation their season here, but can the defense hold? Can the defense hold? That's the question we're all asking right now. Oh, no, everybody's open. Andrew Truman's got the ball. It is. Oh, man. The Lama Nation stops him right at the one-yard line. The Pounders. Looking to put the heart in the dagger here. McLeese stuck on his own lineman. Uh, second and third. Loss of two yards there for McLeese. Shock pitching the ball to Magrum. Touchdown, Lucas Magrum. I hate that down. And now, the point after. Will we see the Pounders go up by 10? Ooh, it looks like a block. Oh, it was almost a block there, but it is a successful try for Ralphie May, and the Pounders are up by 10. Belt Buckle Face has the ball. He tries to weave, but, I mean, this Pounders, their special teams, their defense, their offense, this is, this is a hell of a mountain to climb, but Belt Buckle Face, oh, he must have heard me because he spits in the face of adversity. He chews nails and spits something like fire the man is incredible um, but he's getting stuck on his lineman there and that's going to cost him but he was able to get four yards second and six old king rice i continue and get the ball into the man's hands belt buckle face with another first oh man and almost a touchdown two and a half minutes that nation is calling a timeout they can smell retribution they can smell comeback they just need to smell the end zone Back to the belt buckle face. Touchdown to Lama Nation. We are the nation. The Lama Nation. 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 Lama Nation. Face. And here's the kick by Blinky Mullendorf. And it's good. Now the onside kick that's coming. There it is. The nation's in there. Oh, but they are just unable to get their hands on the ball. There's plenty of time here. 213. The nation's defense has done amazing things today. Jim Shock looking at his players. Oh, the pocket closes. Benny Hill. Does he have it? Nope. The defender is able to hit the ball, and now it's second and ten. Shock getting the ball to McLeese. 
Oh, and the Lama Nation defense isn't up there. There's the first. And that puts them in field goal range. That is not good for this Lama Nation. They need to push them back and get the ball back as soon as possible. Oh, there's a pitch to McLeese. Lama Nation players, they knew that there was a run coming. They were able to stop it. Four-yard gain, second and six. Shock, giving the ball. Oh, I thought they were just going to keep running it. Oh, the pass. It's almost blocked. It's down to Lucas Magrum. And another touchdown for the Powers. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Lucas's brother, Travis, who's able to catch the ball there. Travis not wanting Lucas to have all the credit here in this amazing contest that look ooh do we have a field goal block almost again that that Lama Nation they've been known for their special team blocks and the nation is down by 10 with a minute to go belt buckle face weaving dodging he's at the 50 he's at the 40 Man, belt buckle face trying to keep them in this contest. 20 seconds left. They got to get into the end zone now. Old King Raisai. Oh, the Pounders could sense that they are trying for something long. They rush in, and they're able to block the pass. And we have 10 seconds left. And it looks like that the Portly Pounders will be going to the Mad Championship contest. Oh, they're going to sack him behind the line. Marlon Brando. Second sack on the day. Oh, and he even takes out the old King Raisai to boot. Old King, you're going to have a whole year to rest that injury up because the Lama Nation has lost this contest to the Portly Pounders. What a game. 27 to 17. Jim Shock with 175 yards. Andrew Truman with 122. I mean, the Lama Nation's belt buckle face with 101. It was an amazing contest. Congratulations to the Portly Pounders. They'll be playing in the Mad Championship Contest next week to determine who will be going to the first ever TFO Shiva Bowl. For Keegan, this is Raj saying, kick it and kick it good, folks. Catch you next, TFO, brother. Da, da, da.